Hi, Rupert. Uh, <clears throat> my name is uh, Greg. Hi, and, Greg. Uh, this is my first retreat. Uh, the question I had is, I come from kind of an engineering background, and you know, I'm very kind of in my head a lot. And you know, I start <clears throat> started on the progressive path about five years ago, and about three years ago, kind of started listening to non-dual teaching. The non-dual teachings and, and what you're teaching is so radically simple that it's like my brain can't even get, you know, my head around it. I, I have this habit of overcomplicating things, and it's very difficult for me to kind of let in that simplicity. And I'm just wondering if you have any advice or tips on how to almost relax that over-intellectualizing and just kind of, I mean, it's, it's just even when you were saying kind of these three things on the mountain, I mean, they're just so utterly simple. And I can't, I can't really let it in. Good, Greg. What I'm giving you um, in in these um, meetings and meditations and conversations is uh, the distillation of 45 years of thinking, exploring, practicing these matters, and I can assure you that my mind was at least as complicated as yours <laughs> when I was your age. Somebody once asked Francis, why does the non-dual teaching have to be so complicated? <laughs> and and he, re he replied, to satisfy people with minds as complex as Rupert's. <laughs> so if you've got one of the... Not everyone has one, those, that kind of a mind, and it's fine. I'm not making any... Um, I'm not suggesting one type of mind is better than another, but, but for those of us that have these minds that uh, like to think about these matters, that like to that, that object to everything that is said, that questions everything that is said, that wants to explore every avenue, if you have such a mind, and I, I had such a mind, that's fine. Don't don't stop yourself. Don't think, oh, it should be so simple. It should just be these steps. These the, these these three steps I've given you. It took me 40 years to come to that. So that can be a shortcut. That can prevent you. I don't recommend thinking for 40 years about these matters. <laughs> but, 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 but give yourself permission to think for two or three years about them. You, you, you'll find after two or three years of thinking about these matters, you, you, it, you, you'll realize that what is the non-dual understanding is so simple, yeah. so easy, so clear. But don't impose that on yourself uh, before before it comes to you naturally. Give yourself permission. Just give yourself a few years to just explore, object to everything that is said. Challenge everything that is said. Be, be, if you have a mind like that, and some of you don't have minds, it's not necessary, and it's fine. It's fine just to stay on the top of a mountain and, and, and be. That's fine. Some people are like that, but if you're not, don't feel that you're failing. Don't feel that you shouldn't be doing that. Thinking uh, gets such a bad rap in the spiritual traditions. It's just crushed. The mind can't understand reality, therefore don't think about it. Well, it's true the mind can't understand reality, but you should still think about it. <laughs> think about it until your mind has brought itself to its own end. Not a disciplined end. Not... Not the end of thinking because you're told that thinking is wrong. No, the mind brings itself to its own end, a natural, effortless. The mind comes to an end in understanding, not through practice, effort, or discipline. So, Greg, think about these matters, explore them. It, don't worry, you, 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 it won't take you 40 years. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be a couple of years at the most. But then the simplicity that you discover will be your own. It'll be unshakable. It'll be your own understanding. It won't be an imposed simplicity that you've got from watching YouTube clips or listening to teachers or reading books. It'll be your own. And you, you will then be able to um, expand that simplicity in response to a question about why it is the universe looks as if it's made out of matter. Then you have all the faculties of thinking at your disposal and you can elaborate the non-dual teaching in a complex way in response to that question. 
But in the absence of that question, you just go back to simplicity. You don't think about it. I never think about the truth now. That's not true. Rarely think about the truth. Unless, unless somebody asks me a question, why does the universe appear to be physical? Then my mind just fires up and then in, off it goes. In. So it's not that I never think about it, but compared to how I used to be, I think very little about it because I've been exploring the territory for 45 years. I've been there over and over and over and over again, exploring, objecting, turning, un uh, looking under every stone and, until my mind brought itself to its own understanding, brought itself to peace. And then the thinking naturally dies down, but it's still available. So, Greg, don't worry. Just, just keep exploring these matters. <laughs>